Hello, the movie guy here. I just came home from school to find the Hunger Games Mockingjay trailer from the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 in my inbox. And it's a fairly cool trailer. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty epic. I think this trailer is definitely better than The Hobbit. And um, yeah, let's just uh, jump straight into it. So, like, um, just a Quick for somebody that might haven't seen the Hunger Games um, movies, um, uh, part one and two, um, or Catching Fire and the Hunger Games. Um, uh, like Peter is captured by the Capitol, the Capitol are the bad guys. Um, Katniss is um, now at District. Oh, I forgot with. I think it was District 13. Yeah, it was 13. District 13. And. Um, that's like an underground district that nobody really knows if it's there or not because um, at the TVs in uh, the capital they make it seem like um, like District 13 is all abandoned but in real life or in uh, no like what, what, what really is going on there is that they've built like a huge thing underground and it's pretty cool to see in the trailer i read the books i've just got to mention that because i can feel all smart about it no but just to what i'm trying to say is the trailer looks a lot like i would picture the trailer to be right so at the beginning right at the beginning you can see a hoovercraft that's pretty cool looks fairly cool i think what if, uh, by the way, just a quick thing, what I first thought was like the Hunger Games, these last two movies are w were going to be the worst Hunger Games because there wasn't r r actual Hunger Games in it. But I think this, these two Hunger Games movies as for the last two movies are going to be doubly the coolest of all, or at least the most interesting with the shit going on with Pira. And it's like more of a war movie and this trailer shows it off like more of a dramatic war movie war war <laughs> war <coughs> i'm sorry i'm just a little bit but cold and then you can see um after the hoovercraft you can um like hear katniss a little bit talking like i never wanted it all and then you can um see um president snow on the big screen in uh like the control room in um, District 13 and he's like love is what destroys us pretty cool pretty cool so let's go on right I'm back sorry that was just like an interruption um, and then he says like the thing the people we love will destroy us and then the presence noted as and then the hoovercrafts fly over again and now I can see Katniss in the elevator with a black eye don't know who that is supposed to be then you can kind of see like the underground district and you can see um what's the night guy oh I forgot his name beetle beetlejuice no not beetlejuice but like the guy in the wheelchair or at least he got in a wheelchair um or the guy with the glasses from uh, from Hunger Games 2 I forgot his name um, it was something with Beetle, I can't remember. But right, okay, so let's go on. Oh, that's like an interesting thing too in the books at least. Um, like Effie, Effie, I'm not sure what the last name is. The the lady with the with the with the white hair who's all excited for the Hunger Games, like Peter and Katniss, clap for them and their smiles up, chin swap. I can't. That lady is in the in uh, district 13 too and her stylist from Katniss and then you can in a short um, shot you can see like um, the weaponry of district 13 and it looks absolutely fucking epic you can see a few hoovercrafts you can see a few rockets you can see some people walking of course it looks pretty much like the avatar base or at least the hoovercrafts do it's fairly awesome and um, that's right, that's something I got to mention in the books. It's not kind of a spoiler, but Gail and uh, Katniss, and you can see them training in the trailer for a little bit, have like, um, have like new, um, new fucking epic Daryl like crossbows. And, um, or at least Gail got a crossbow, I think. And Flynn, or Finn, sorry, uh, got his um, kind of high tech spear. And Katniss got an explosive bow, and you can see them training with. I think it's fairly cool. 
And um, right, so you can see Katniss in a short sh uh, shot with her new outfit. And now you can see like a shot that I don't recognize from the books, uh, or at least don't remember. It's like a huge water dam. And you can see uh, people of the capital, or at least peacekeepers, that's how the guys in the white armor are called. You can see them shooting from the, um, down from the um, uh, water dam. And I can't remember which part it was from the books, but still. And now you can see the short shot of um, Peter. Um, um, like telling I we can just lay your weapons down and peace kind of like Herschel but in this case I'm not why I'm not going to spoil anything but you can see Peter and Katniss all oh, you're alive because she didn't know it and then um, Hamish is telling Katniss like Peter is the capital we uh, capital weapon and it's kind of true because you know that um, what's he called Katniss um, kind of um, loves and likes Peter, so it's it's really kind of her weapon. And she and um, Peter used to be like from Capital Twelve, a uh, Capital District Twelve. And then Katniss is is all like <laughs> kind of cocky, like you're gonna rescue Peter at the first mission. I'm not going to be your mocking Jay anymore. Make your decisions. By the way. Plutarch Heavensby, I think he's called that. Like um, the actor of him died, so I'm kind of, kind of like I don't know how they're going to do that because there are some scenes not shot with um, with the actor actor of uh, I forgot his name it was something ah can't remember, but he died while shooting, so I'm kind of I kind of want to know how they figured that out to still keep him in scenes but but it's fairly interesting to see this movie you can see all you, you can see also you also can see a few shots during the war and then you can by the way you can see the hot chick from game of thrones natalie dormer who plays um um what's the name again marjorie Marj the last name was tyrell marjorie tower on the Hunger games i kind of can remember her from the book but not really she's like a surgeon in the in this uh, film i think i can just see katniss in a few scenes in the in like really a war setting with all wrecked up buildings and and dramatic music and shooting and fairly cool fairly cool and i and then what i talk about earlier you can see like the dumb that dumb the dam the water dam you can see it blowing up and i'm like what which part of the movie is this? I can't fucking remember this part from the book. And I, I kind of think it's a new made up part or scene from the book. Because I really can't remember what a dam blowing up. But it could be the capital. A capital dam. But it's not mentioned in the book. And for a last scene you can see uh, Katniss shooting some hovercrafts down. With a new explosive bow. All fairly cool. Fairly cool. And you can hear the... Also like an iconic, um, iconic whistle for the Hunger Games. After all, this trailer looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for the Hunger Games Part One or Hunger Games Mockingjay Part One. I I think this is going to be a fairly interesting movie. Even though at first I thought like no Hunger Games in this movie. It's called the Hunger Games with no Hunger Games. Must be a boring movie, but it's kind of, you know, it's kind of cool. And yeah, I like this new setting, like kind of a war setting more than a, a survival. I think the first two movies were more like a survival movie, and this movie is going to be, um, um, you know, like um, like a really a war movie. And I already know that you're going to see it. Doesn't show this in the trailer, but as a person who's read the books, you're going to see a little of different sides, not really different sides, but new places. So far, you only really know. Um, district 12 and district um, or district 1 or no not 1 but the capital and the Hunger Games but in this part you're going to see um, a few more districts and you're going to see the capital from a different side and that's all I'm going to say this movie is, um, is pretty cool I think I think it's going to be one of the coolest movies of this year or at least as for as for as long this year lasts 
But this was all my time for today. My name is the movie guy and please leave a like and subscribe. What's your opinion on this fairly epic trailer? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.